Hello everyone, Jerk here, Digital Marketer 360 Office, and welcome to our first YouTube video. Now, it's time for me to share my top five useful hints that will change the way you use Outlook. Don't miss out on these because I guarantee you find at least one of these tips and tricks in today's video useful. My personal favourite is number four. Let me know in the comments which one yours is. Without further ado, let's jump into this and get started. Coming in at number one, this is for you sports fans out there. Did you know you can add your favourite teams, dates and kickoff times to your Outlook calendar so you never have to miss a match again? If you go over to the top left and hit calendar, and on the left hand side you can see an option called add calendar. At the bottom you will see three options, holiday, sports and TV. If you now go to sports you can find the sport you want to follow. For this instance I'm just going to use football. We go to Premier League, hit Manchester United and then hit the X at the top right. You can now see that Manchester United's dates and kickoff times are in my calendar. If you want to edit it, just go to the left hand side again, click the three dots and you can change the colour. As you can see in the example on the screen, mine is now a dark blue. You can also change the icon. I'm just going to change mine to a little football. Now you can easily see the difference between them. If you want to remove it, just click the three dots again, click remove and hit remove. Number two, add a professional touch to your emails by having your very own email signature. First off, go to the top right and click new email. Next, go to the top and make sure it is on the message ribbon. If it is, then in the middle of the ribbon, there will be an option called signature. Click on it and go to signatures. This window will appear. If you go over to the left hand side and click new, and type a name for your signature. I'm just gonna call it new signature, but I recommend calling it something you'll recognize. Then on the right hand side where it says new messages, select new signature and replies and forward also select new signature. This will make sure that your signature is on every new email you send out. Below is where you can finally start to make your signature. This usually contains name, position, company name and contact details. It can also be used to promote anything you want in your emails. It doesn't just have to be a signature. I already have one, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. Once you're happy with your signature, just go down to the bottom right and click OK. You can insert it by going to signature at the top again and clicking the one you just made. It will also appear automatically on every new email you create, reply or forward. This next one will be a massive help for all you designers out there. Did you know you can automatically compress any image of any size into just a few hundred kilobytes? As you can see in the bottom left, this image is 17 megabytes. Way too big to send over email without uploading it to the cloud. So if you go over to your image and right click on it, go down to send to option and then select mail recipient. This window should appear. On the drop down, you can alter the size to small, medium, or large. As you can see, the large option is still a very small file size. If it looks good, hit attach and it will bring you to your email. As you can see, the final size is only 334 kilobytes from the original 17 megabyte image we previously had. This next one is my personal favorite and the one I find most helpful, it being quick balance. Here you can see another customer has asked me what services 360 Office do and I'm exhausted of typing it out over and over again. This is where quick parts come in. Go out and click reply and then hit the pop out in the top right corner, it should bring you to the screen. Start writing out your email for the final time. Once that's done, highlight the text you want to make a quick part. For me, it's the services we do. Go to the top and press insert and then go to the far right and click the three dots. This will bring down a drop down. Midway through the drop down, you will see an option called quit parts. Click it and then press save selection. Another window will appear where you can change the name, gallery, category, and even a little description of what the quit part is. This all looks fine to me, so I'm just gonna hit okay. Right, so I'm now going to delete this and go back to the three dots on the top right hand corner and go back to quick parts once again. 
you will now see the text you just saved if you hit it, voila. It pastes into your email so you never have to write it out again or go searching for the Word document you saved it in. Last but not least, I have a few useful shortcuts to make you more efficient when using Outlook. Clicking Ctrl and R on your keyboard will reply to an email you are currently looking at. Clicking Ctrl N on your keyboard will create a brand new email as you can see here. Ctrl and 1 will direct you back to your email if you're on somewhere else on Outlook, for example on your calendar. Speaking about calendar, if you hit Ctrl and 2 on your keyboard it will direct you to your calendar. Ctrl and 3 will take you to your Outlook contacts and finally Ctrl and 4 will take you to your tasks. So that was a quick look at my top 5 tips and tricks on Microsoft Outlook. If you found any of these useful make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with anybody that also might find it useful. If you want to see more videos like this in the future make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications and for now that is it. See ya.